Our financial expert and New York Times best-selling author, Nicole, is with us. She produced her second book last week, A 12-Step Plan to Take Charge of Your Career. So, it's good to meet you, Nicole. Well, you guys oh, haven't no, met before. I yeah. I, but we've had, like, lady love from afar. All right. Soul sister yes. from another mister. It's totally true. Okay. Can you leave us alone for a moment? I no, will. Thank we'll you. just talk sports. <laughs> we'll, for, we'll talk careers. We'll, right, we'll, we'll talk. do that. Let's do that. She's going to be leaving her job here soon, so I <laughs> want you to come up. Why would you? You guys are amazing together. Stop that. Not it's not bad. Huh? See, he's such an instigator. That's what I like about him. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, people reach a, a, a stage in their life where either they're starting to hate the job or they think they're just ready to move on to something else. Super frustrated, so, right? So here's the advice. It starts with a question. Are you still passionate? So, and the answer to that question is you have to figure that out by actually doing it. So you've heard the phrase side hustle by now, right? A no. side hustle is what? Oh, you mean when somebody, oh, well, go ahead. Do something on the side, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you can either do that to make money, like mm -hmm. an UberX driver or a Postmate or whatever, an Airbnb, rent your house, rent your tent, rent your dog. You can do all the things, seriously, to make money. Or you incubate some of that passion on the side to see if it actually is for something the, you for love. For the next thing, yeah. Yeah, so if, if it goes from a hobby to a jobby, then it looks viable. So let's say you're Did you doing say a like, hobby to a jobby? Yeah, so, okay, so let's say you have a hobby of baking cupcakes or whatever on the weekend, right? right and you yeah. give it to all your friends. Yeah. And then you doodle in your notebook at work, like, little cupcakes. I mean, oh, my God, if I could just make a cupcake shop, I would be so, so happy if I could leave my job. So these are three questions That's to ask so yourself? That's so real. But then, yeah, so then let's That's say... so real. Let's say you go and do that, and then on the side, you start sourcing flour and then you start selling it and then you need a commercial kitchen then you need to do the accounting then you need to be the janitor and all of a sudden that hobby goes into something that actually is work and sometimes you're like oh my god i hate this as a job i just want to do this uh, on the weekends for my friends. Well, now and then you'll you got know. it out of your system. Yeah, yeah no. sometimes so try it. At 100%. Sometimes right, now, realizing what you don't want to yeah. do is as Next is it uh, what, what is it that you Blah, want blah, blah. to look before you leap. Well, that was kind of the it. No. Isn't that the same thing? Yeah, so you also want to make sure that this is viable. So even if you're selling cupcakes and you love it, let's say, instead of hating it and going back to your job, are you actually mm -hmm. making money? Hello! Because <laughs> that's why you go to work. <laughs> right? So yeah. this is not a charity, you know? Yeah. A lot of people leave their jobs and then they realize that you actually can't make money from that thing. Yeah. So you want to make sure that it's actually... Do you have a enough business. contacts? Do you have a robust support system? So what if you decide all those things? Okay, I'm in. I'm mm -hmm. in. I'm going to do this. Yeah, so, I, I, so what about your job you got? So some of the logistics stuff is not rainbows and butterflies. Like being an entrepreneur is super sexy these days, right? Yes. You it's see always. It on the, right? Yeah. You see it on the cover of Forbes and Fortune mm -hmm. and whatever, these entrepreneurs remember, flying around. But remember, you're out there alone when you do that. Yes, and you have to make sure you have your ducks in a row, uh -huh. especially the financial ducks in a row. Sure. So you want to make sure you have probably a year of savings in the bank. A year of yes, savings? Girl, Nicole, this is L.A. N nobody has a year, year of savings. savings okay, but it's not like the dresses and the shoes. It's like the basic stuff you need to live on. So the housing, the transportation, your food, that's it. Put that in the bank. But, but, because but, but, all, but also, I'm sorry for interrupting. Also, um, <laughs> You think, so you're, you think you're good at this thing, and you forget there are 20 things that go along with your being good at it. Things like you have to pay for insurance. Yeah. You have to, all kinds yeah. of things, yeah. Yeah, you wear all the hats now. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you have to actually be the accountant. You have to get up to speed with all that stuff. Thanks. And also make sure that you don't need a lot of insurance for you or your family health-wise right. because you're probably not going to have a lot of those benefits. If all right, you so your now job. you're quitting the job. Mm -hmm. What's the advice? So exit really carefully. Look up a business plan. Research the industry. Make sure that you have a ton of contacts that you're keeping up with. Keep up your resume up to date. You know, the world is small. Life is long. You might have to go <laughs> back to that job. Yeah. So don't, don't burn, burn the bridges. Don't burn the right? bridges. Right? Yeah. You're saying a business hastily. plan. What you're basically, when I'm looking at you going, oh, my God, I'm exhausted, Nicole. That's so much work. Mm -hmm. I'm staying in my job. Check out my book. <laughs> By the way, there's How a whole template for awesome business. Right, I'm excited book. to meet you, and I got the everything. Yes. We're running out of time here. So yes. uh, the last thing you have here is you want to think about your internal and external network. What does that mean? Yeah, so just make sure that you are making contacts out in that world right. that you're jumping into, right? Because you're going to need a super great support system. 80% of businesses fail. Mm -hmm. You have to be really ready for failure. Again, you see all these great success stories, Facebook, Instagram. You're like, oh, I can do this, whatever. And, you know, 
more failures than not. So just right. be prepared for Let that. Let us review. You're, if yes. you're ready to yes. leave quiz. One. Are you passionate? Two. Uh, <laughs> is it more than a hobby? Three. Do you uh, look before you leap? Four. I'm reading a prompter. Yes. Uh, plan your exit carefully. Five. I listened, Nicole. I did listen. Five. I just have an internal and external support system. My goodness. All the things. Um, Drop I the sure mic. Hope you I, got this. I sure hope I can stay in this career. You know what? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, producers, you, you can stay for the next segment at least. They say. Thank you. Okay. Good to see you again. Thank always, you very much. Always a pleasure. Always be advice. The new book is Thank out you. now. Always great to have you here.